Do you have a sublimation printer and heat press and want to make one-of-a-kind projects such as wall hangings, jewelry, or portraits? It's so easy with sublimating on acrylic. Join us today on Chris's Corner and we will share our tips with you. To start today, let's heat up our heat press to 400 degrees and set our timer for 60 seconds. We've found that these settings work really well for sublimating on acrylic. Our first project is a sublimation fail that we bought from Creative Fabrica's Hello Magic. With a design program, we are going to create an outline around the file and make a blank to sublimate on our white matte acrylic. We find that matte acrylic sublimate better than gloss. After cutting it out, we are going to use heat safe tape and secure it to our blank so that it doesn't accidentally move out of place when we put it in our heat press. Next, we will press it at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. When it comes out of the heat press, it'll be really flexible. We want to make sure that it cools off flat. So we are going to put it on a flat surface, cover it with a piece of our quarter inch MDF, and put some weights on it. After it is cool, we take the weights off and the sublimation paper. Here's how it turned out. Our next project is a file I love from Neferine on Etsy. We are going to make some bracelets. So first we're going to start with bracelet blanks out of different acrylics. For this project we chose matte white, sea glass transparent, and just for fun our melting ice crystal clear textured acrylic. We printed off a sublimation design and are going to lay each of our bracelet blanks down making sure that the textured one is flat side up. Again we are going to heat press this at 400 degrees for 60 seconds. With bracelets, we could either bend these now or cool them off um, straight and then bend them later. We have a video about bending acrylic if you're interested in that on our website. Sometimes a piece of paper might stick after pressing. If this happens, you can soak it in water and then use a cloth or magic eraser to get it off. If it sticks badly, it isn't the acrylic, it's the paper, and you might want to consider changing to a different brand of sublimation paper. Some of the brands work better than others we've found. I love that you can make so many one-of-a-kind pieces of jewelry so easily. Our last project is sublimating a photo on clear acrylic. I'm going to start with making a blank. Once I have the blank clean and the sublimation printed and cut to size, I will line it up and put it on the heat press for again 400 degrees and 60 seconds. I'm going to immediately transfer this to the flat area and put the MDF and weights on it. I want to make sure that it cools completely flat. There's a little bit of paper stuck on this so I'm going to put it in this tub of water and use the magic eraser to clean it off. Now if you look at this, it looks like it didn't work well because of the, a lot of detail is missing. Sublimation printers do not sublimate white or print white, so when sublimating on clear, details don't show up. Also, sublimation details are stronger with an opaque background. So to achieve the look that I want with this clear acrylic and photo, I'm going to spray paint the back of the acrylic. I'm going to use beige spray paint, but you can use white or whatever color you wish for the back. After the paint dries, you can see how well the details show up. We hope you've learned some tips on sublimating on acrylic. We can't wait to see the projects you make. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to tag us on social media at Craft Closet Supply. And also like, subscribe, and ring the bell so you'll be notified of the next Chris's Corner.